Hey, we're back at Universal Studios. We had to close up Kyle Fish for the day, so we're going over to Cowfish for tonight. And it's a sunset. Looks pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Pretty. And parking. Universal again. Telling us to go down a lane, but nobody's there to help us park. And we had to go all the way around to go park somewhere else. So, so much falling down on the job. Tons of staff on Halloween Horror Nights. Now nobody. So we're finally going to try cowfish. I heard they don't have frozen pizza here, but we'll find a way. Uh, Jesse is building her own fish. Put a, put a paintbrush on it? Here's a fish floating by up top. Jesse saw it. So, this fish has a mustache. That's pretty funny. All right, well. Here, and glasses. Harry Potter Harry, glasses. Harry Potter glasses. Oh, okay. That's a requirement. <laughs> let's take this. Oh, let's put it. He's gonna have a bow tie back here. here. And the eyeglasses. All right, it's on his butt. And I think we may have a beach ball no, soon. Or a bowling pin. Bowling pin in his butt. Yes, we're gonna have put a bowling pin. Put it here. That's pretty awesome. All right, oh, that okay. makes no sense. Now the glasses are on him proper. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Perfect. I think this is a much improved fish. What do you think? I like the bowling pin. Oh, I like the fact that he has a bowling pin coming out of his pocket. You never know when a game of bowling might sporadically break out. And now I think we're complete because our guy now has a pacifier coming out of the top of his head and his glasses. And... Uh-oh. He doesn't want to move anymore. And still has the bowling pin on his pocket. Ooh, check out the sunset from here. This is pretty awesome. So here is the big virtual aquarium that we just built downstairs. I don't see our fish in it yet though. So here's the inside, We're on the second floor. Smiling server. And we need to go upstairs, hopefully not where the fish and the cow are. What's pretty fun, and I like the Elvis too. And we're sitting down and they're playing Mary's song. Thank you so much. Why are you bugging? Okay. No. This menu is so difficult to navigate. I don't like fish, but I want a hamburger. There are so many different choices of hamburgers. But you can still get rolls that are not fish related. So I was looking at the taste explosion roll, which is beef and jalapenos and all kinds of good stuff. But I think I might get this rise and swine burger. Kick it. Looks good. What are you gonna get? Sushi. What type? Now you want me to go off the menu and try to figure out what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm set on the hamburger I want to get, but I had to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. No frozen pizza at this cowfish. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, I got a rise and shine. Mary got a lot of different rolls. Jesse got a, uh, is that black and blue? No, it's a four <laughs> ah, It's a uh, mushroom burger. Yes. Tim got this incredibly gigantic. Is this called the cowfish has left the double? Uh, cowfish has left the double. Yeah. It's like an Elvis burger. I'm pretty excited for this. Okay. And Jen's got some crazy <laughs> oh, sushi yeah. also. Um, I got the boss roll, which is like a spicy tuna with uh, crab, but also like yeah. crunchy stuff. And then it has tuna and avocado. And then this one is the Doug's filet. So the Doug roll. The, Doug, the Doug's filet is, um, it's got filet on top, but I think it has... Teach me how to Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you do it? <laughs> Oh, we get the bird poop off your shoulder. <laughs> the bird pooped on me. Oh, oh, that's roe on top, right? This is, um, yes, fish eggs. Yeah. Oh. Yes. It's called or delicious. Masago. Oh, okay. Because I asked her what it was. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> oh, no. So, yay! What kind of rolls? I got eel. I got um, tuna, salmon, and yellowtail. Wow. And this Rise and Shine has bacon and egg. And you know what the mystery ingredient is? I took the first bite already, so I can tell you it was delicious, but I can fake it now and take another one just for you guys. Your burger has a tail. It's delicious. You like his tail? It's like a stingray. You may be wondering, did I like the burger? That's the remnants. It was really good. You know what I like when you're sitting up here in the second level? have all of these um, light-up decorations facing out as well, and you can see downstairs. 
actually have a lot to look at. The graphics are really fun on the wall as well. So you kind of get a cow with the shark fin, and you have a fish with the saddle. So from up here you get a really great view of everything in City Walk. Take a look over here. Down here as well. So Cowfish was really good. I think the ambiance, the food, the drinks, everything is a really big hit. It's something that City Walk was missing. It's not a themed place. The music is very contemporary. Um, I think everything was a really great score. Now, magically, Mary appears in the frame. What did you think about the sushi? What did she think about the sushi, is what I said, in case you came in? It was awesome. That's all? Yeah, it was awesome. Fresh. Awesome. Yeah, excellent. How was the sake? Um, I drank a whole entire carafe. <laughs> That's awesome, too. <laughs> I don't know if you can see either, but I like that Universal has like snowflakes out on the City Walk area. And you can literally see everything from the patio up here, and you have all kinds of heaters and just an awesome time. Oh, NASCAR Cafe. We hardly knew you. I like getting to the park with like a half an hour to go. So many people leaving. They've left all the rides open to us. No more Halloween Horror Night signage. Back to normal, and no Christmas stuff up yet. So this is the first time we've been here at night, post Halloween Horror Nights, and it's kind of weird to walk down this block at night with no scare actors around. No giant candles, no chandelier, uh, just back to normal. So we came to the park after eating, because Jessie wants to ride Rocket. She wanted to ride Rocket throughout Halloween Horror Nights, and she's never been on it. So tonight's the night, she's gonna get on it. <laughs> That could be the ride that Tim and uh, Jess are on. I don't know. There they go. What's those things? What'd you think? I'm gonna go again. Let's go on that free walk or not tonight. She rode uh, back row. I rode front row. Uh, oh. oh! What song? Evanescence. The one that I fall asleep in. Uh, <laughs> Did you like it better than Aerosmith? And any other final words? This is a very exciting video. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like going to Disney with like tons and tons of people waiting on the curve. Or not. Oh my goodness! Fireworks! Hey, by the way, I don't know if you can see this because it's really, really dark, but Universal started a Christmas store in the Universal Park. Kind of mirrors the other um, the Christmas store that they have on Islands of Adventure. That's pretty fun. Universal is under attack! I'm gonna get Optimus Prime! Hey, so Universal kept the TVs in Macy's post Halloween Horror Nights, and now they've got commercials running in them while you're in Universal. So just in case you have a second thought about coming back the next day, I guess you'd watch a commercial to convince you. I like that those statues are perfectly lit. And this one's a little bit more like techno disco. I really wish that they would bring Ghostbusters here. There's rumors about Twister. I don't know anything further than hearing other rumors, but I really wish Ghostbusters. Oh, we missed the fireworks again. I like the photographer is encouraging kids to sit on the props now. That's awesome. Mary, I have some really bad news for you. What? I've been keeping secrets. What secrets? It's really tough to say this, but I am Megatron. Oh my god. <laughs> Officially the ugliest hat I've ever seen. No. Jen, I have a question. Oh, oh me! <laughs> these in the mail. Oh yeah. Do you know what these things are? They are magnets. Oh. How do they work? This is how they smuggle E.T. in and out of the park every night. They just take them out in a wagon. Nobody ever knows. I'm debating whether she has shorts on or not. If they do, then they're probably too short to be shorts. They probably should be called the thong. All right. So for the first time here, we're going to take a boat back to the Royal Pacific so that we can eventually walk over to 
the walkway and uh, check out the overpass from Cabana Bay. There you go. Okay, so the first time on the boat, we're gonna sit in this crazy front seat here. So we're gonna get the wind right in our face. Yeah. And we can watch this guy as he's driving the boat. He's the captain. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like looking out the front window of the boat. Exciting. This is where I spend every Sunday at the Mariners Club. Okay, so we've gone over to the Royal Pacific to walk through to get over to the pedestrian bridge. This is what it looks like in the cafeteria area. It's frogorific. Hey, Jake from State Farm has stepped up. Hey, this is the pool area. It's really nice. We'll have to stay here someday. Maps. What do they do? Ah, this is crazy. And they carve it from the top end, you know. I don't know how you... They started at the top? And now they're here. Not at the bottom? Oh, no. They start at the top. Oh, and here is the, the pedestrian walkway. We filmed it a gazillion times from the street to come in. And now it's finally here. Although I like, again, kind of question, why walk when you can ride? Cabana Bay has a bus like every five minutes, but if you do choose to walk, this is the way. Oh, you know what happens with this little area? Yes, it does. How cute. When you do something wrong, this is the end of the line. This is forever going to be called Goodfellas Bridge. <laughs> This is the coolest bench of all time. <laughs> I feel like Universal put all these boom bamboo things in here so that people can't access the water, but there's a giant hole. So we were just down there. Yeah, and then went over here too. So we're actually getting towards the bridge to get to Cabana Bay. But I like that they have an opening for the hatch, like they have a lost right there on the floor. Hey look, it's more of those Donkey Kong springs. You from like the factory board? By the way, check out that moon. So we're thinking Holy cow, that's not the moon, that's the street light. <laughs> check out that crazy moon. It's a very Halloween-y type moon. <laughs> Tim made me laugh, that's why the moon's shaking around now. Oh, the bridge does have a lot of cool landscaping all on it. That's really nice, so you can't really see from the road when we saw all the, the plants being put in. It looks really cool up here. We're on top of the bridge, people. It's the last new thing to look forward for this year. There's a gazillion benches to sit down on the entire path over by the other hotel. And when you walk up the giant hill to get over the bridge, there's zero benches up here. I feel like this is the place where you would need the, the benches the most. We walked all this distance, like a mile. Open the door. <laughs> One simply does not walk into Cabana Bay. <laughs> what do they say? <laughs> <laughs> so not to belabor the point, but yeah. I really think the walkway is a nice idea, um, but certainly not the most efficient way to be able to travel between the hotel, Cabana Bay, and the parks. A lot easier to just get on that bus. Yay, we're back at Cabana Bay. I really like this hotel. I can't wait to stay here again. I'm not staying here tonight, but can't wait for in the future to be able to stay here. So we're in the lobby of Cabana Bay and we were talking to somebody that recognized Tim and Jen and wanted to come down and meet um, and to say hello. And a character actor walked by that I've seen in a million things, but I honestly can't remember who it is now. And I can't place the face. This is gonna drive me nuts. I think tomorrow probably as I'm driving home from work or something is gonna pop in my head. But totally walked by, bringing his bag, Cabana Bay. Hey, we're totally gonna take the bus back to the hub so that we can get in the car and drive home. I like that all of the ads on the bus are all kind of 60s or 70s themed also. You can see like, even the Blue Man Group has the little like logos, fonts like it's from the 60s. Thank you for visiting. And thank you for having us. It's another fun day at Universal Studios. Hey everybody, I'm back home. It was a fun night. It was great to see Tim and Jen. Cowfish was really good. I'm really happy that they have a great new restaurant at Universal City Walk. A new option instead of going to Hard Rock Cafe all the time. Or Vivo for Italian food. 
So, on that note, it is very late. I need to get up to go to work tomorrow. So, thank you for all of the likes and the comments and the subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.